Action working. So last time we talked a little bit about our grip on the ball. So what we want is 10 points of contact. So that's our fingers and thumbs on both hands rather than flat palms on the ball like that. Okay. So we want a nice grip like that so we can then manipulate and move the ball as we want to. Okay. So the first thing we're going to look at to work on that is we're going to look at our one handed grip. So it's five points of contact. And all you need for this is a ball. Again, ideally your size for your age group if you can. If not, don't worry, just any ball will do. And a tennis ball. And all you're going to do is find a nice flat piece of ground to get your tennis ball. And you're just going to look to bounce the ball up and down. And then you're going to change over when you can to both hands. And then when you get better, you change it a little bit quicker, maybe three bounces. And then maybe one. Okay. So all the while, <clears throat> what you're doing is you're focusing on that grip of the ball. And that, as I say, helps you just move forward and getting that controlled movement. So it's that development on. Okay. Next thing you're going to do, you just need the ball this time. So you can put your, put your tennis ball down. So you're going to just look to move the ball from hand to hand. Again, it's those five points of contact, not gripping it with a flat palm, just moving the ball from side to side. Don't worry about spinning for the time being. You can see mine is doing that. That's just how I'm flicking my fingers. You can just move it back and forth nice and flat as well, okay? Get a little bit of height if you want. Then you can start to add that little bit of spin. So as we let go of the ball, we just flick our fingers like that as well. So just mix it up between a normal pass and a little flicked spin pass like that as well, okay? Next, following on from that, we're gonna add the tennis ball again and we're gonna do a little bit of juggling. So all we're doing is we're looking to move the rugby ball up, pass the tennis ball over, rugby ball up, tennis ball over, rugby ball up, tennis ball over, rugby ball up, tennis ball over. And then as you develop that and get better, what you can start to do is put that little spin in that we just talked about. Spin, catch, spin, catch, spin, catch. Okay, so the idea of this is that we're focusing all our focus <coughs> on the rugby ball, so our hand-eye coordination is working. When we move on to our challenge, which is the next bit, we're going to start to take our eye focus away from the rugby ball and see if we can transfer it without looking at it. Okay, so now for your challenge. Now this is tough, but it would be really good to work on for your hand-eye coordination and your skills with the ball. So what we did before when we were doing the juggling is we were moving the rugby ball up in the air and passing the tennis ball across. So all our focus was still on this rugby ball because we know that we can pass the tennis ball back and forth without looking at it. Now we're going to take our attention away from the rugby ball and onto the tennis ball so that the skill between of passing the rugby ball from hand to hand becomes a bit more of an instinctive, natural thing. So <clears throat> we're going to, we need a flat wall here, so I'm just going to use the side of the house. You need your tennis ball and your rugby ball. So the tennis ball goes against the wall and you hand over the rugby ball and catch the tennis ball. Okay, again, against the wall, hand over the rugby ball. Against the wall, hand over. Against the wall, hand over. So all the while, you're not looking at the ball. Once you get good at that, the next trick is to throw the ball against the wall and put a bit more air on the rugby ball. It's much, much harder. So against the wall, up and catch. Against the wall, up and catch. Okay, it is tricky. It will look a bit scruffy. The idea is that what we're trying to get to is when we throw that tennis ball, we can then spin that ball into this hand and this becomes a natural movement for us. It is tricky. It's deliberately tricky. It's a challenge. Have a go. See how you get on and let us know. And I'll see you on the next video.